I'm going to be pretty quick. I'm going to talk about Four Combinator. I'm going to explain how we've uh, put together an incubator to allow us to quickly generate and build companies that can make devices uh, for the life sciences and, and healthcare. Uh, all of us have a lot of opportunities. In, in my case, I'm looking to go on a journey with people that uh, share uh, the same priorities. When I wake up in the morning, I want to make sure I'm working on something that can have a large impact on society. I then want to make sure that that impact is, is in healthcare. And I want to make sure that I'm not missing something. So someday, when someone I love is, is ill, I don't want to have a regret and say, well, boy, I wish seven years ago I had met somebody like Max Tegmark and we had created a device that could potentially save their life. And I have been lucky enough uh, to have the things I've built affect the lives of people I love. And I can tell you there is no greater reward. In order to uh, scale up our vision, we have created an incubator. And each of the companies in the incubator share a, a common goal and a common strategy. Each is making a device uh, like the next-gen sequencing or machines we made to decode uh, genomes that looks at the world in a new way. And each time we make one of these devices, we have an opportunity as a team to do something that's never been done before. We had the first way to sequence lots of DNA, so we decoded a human. It was so sensitive that we figured we might as well do something that hadn't been done before, so we decoded a, a, a genome of Neanderthal, people that have been extinct for 35 uh, million, I'm sorry, 35,000 years. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, got a little excited on the decimals. <laughs> so the beautiful thing about making something new is you really can do uh, fantastic science. So we, we like those devices. But we also want to aggregate that information. And we're at a point where we can't keep up with the information by just having people look at it. So we want uh, smart uh, c computers. And this really is a fantastic strategy. And we're repeating it, as you see in the next slide, uh, multiple times in uh, different devices that we think can be transformative. I'm going to talk just a second about uh, a butterfly. And butterfly exemplifies uh, seeing an opportunity and being able to do something about it. And one of the great things about these things is you also want to have a journey with people that make you want to run to work. And, and share your ideas. And so uh, Butterfly started uh, very personally. I was sponsoring research at an academic site in an area called HIFU, High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. And I was sponsoring work, uh, a clinical trial, in children that had growths in their kidneys that were life-threatening. And because of the placement of the growths and the number of growths, it wasn't necessarily practical to go do traditional surgery. And people had developed fantastic machinery combining M MRI to image these growths and ultrasound to zap the growths. And while I was excited by the promise, it had some limitations. First, these centers cost two to six million dollars. And that wasn't uh, a barrier for me having access. But if something costs two to six million dollars, these uh, these centers, there's just not enough of them for people to develop the applications in the way you'd like them to be developed. So I wanted it to be cheaper so more people could take advantage of it and they would get better and better. The second problem was the process was so slow that it would be equivalent to, of any of you hitting return and trying to print something, and instead of taking a few minutes, it would take a few weeks. You just wouldn't use your printer that often. Or worse, after the week of printing, if you went to get the page, it looked like my children had done the graphics with crayons. So it was too expensive, it was too slow, and it didn't have the resolution. And I looked at this machine and said, boy, I wish I could literally erase metastatic disease. Well, I was lucky enough to be at a conference where Max was talking, 
and uh, you'll hear a, a lot about uh, Max in a little bit. Uh, but Max is amazing for uh, many reasons. But Max was basically explaining to the audience that he was going to image the universe, not part of the universe, <laughs> not just the universe now, but basically the universe for all time. And he was going to do it by taking advantage of the last 40 years of Moore's Law and rethink how you do radio telescopes. And, and I saw that. And at the same time, I had had great success with ion torrent using semiconductors. And I thought, boy, why don't we use his, Max's ideas and his algorithms but instead of pointing this thing at the universe to image it, why don't we point it at a person? And I, I approached Max, and we talked. And uh, Max is very warm, so I knew in about three minutes that I was going to do a project with him. Because uh, that's what it's about. You want to work with people that you enjoy being with. And uh, we, just started to, we decided to start a company that would make it super inexpensive to do all the things that I had seen this high foo and MRI do. Uh, but we both realized you can't do something that's impossible unless you find somebody inexperienced enough not to know it's impossible, <laughs> but bright enough to actually pull it off. And so Max actually told me he had the perfect guy. And that's uh, Nevada Sanchez, uh, who's uh, the co-founder of, of Butterfly. And Nevada had a, a nice CV. He had four degrees from MIT. And he had a perfect GPA in all of them. And he had just won a Hertz Fellowship to Stanford. So Max and I uh, 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 approached Nevada and said, look, why don't you take a, a one-year deferment? And, and let's do this you know, fun project. And so uh, three years later, <laughs> uh, it, it works. Uh, we also make sure that our journey isn't just the people that come to the company, but the people that we build the company with. Some people call them investors. But I'm really looking for people that share our dream. They have the exact same three priorities. They wake up in the morning, and they want to change the world. They look around, and they want to change it in healthcare. And they look at their family and say, boy, it sure would be nice to make something that might save the life of somebody I love. And so on the next slide, we were able to find like-minded people and show them what we built and raise $100 million so in the next uh, 18 months, we can uh, bring this uh, product to market. So uh, I, I want to make uh, clear that Four Combinator is different than other incubators. We don't put $50,000 into 100 ideas. We commit for any idea we're going to work on uh, the first 10 to $20 million. We really do take the uh, maxim from Yoda. You know, it's not about trying. It's about doing. And so we do these things. Uh, we put in the first 10 to $20 million. We show uh, that it works, that we really can do this thing uh, that other people thought was impossible. And then we find like-minded people so we can uh, commercialize it. So uh, thanks for coming today. I want to make sure that uh, when you enjoy the talk uh, by Max and, and David and uh, get motivated, that you don't only send us your resume, but you look around and make sure anybody that's uh, really smart sends it. I do want to make a comment of, uh, David, about David uh, uh, Ferrucci. So uh, I, I talked about the people we get, like Nevada, uh, the advisors, uh, the investors we have that, that share our goals, the advisors like Max or co-founders like Max. But we also have advisors. We think these are tough problems. And we searched the whole world for the perfect person to help. And as we wanted to bring uh, machine intelligence to our problems, I was lucky enough uh, 
to get to know David uh, Ferrucci, who was the person that initiated the uh, Watson program and the Watson Jeopardy program. And uh, David is also an advisor to Four Combinator. And uh, I thought it would be a wonderful uh, opportunity for you guys to see what I get to enjoy any day, which is the intellectual stimulation of having a conversation with Max Tegmark and uh, David Ferrucci. And if you join, or when you join for Combinator, you get to have that same reward. And again, the journey is the reward. And I can tell you, when you get to bounce an idea of David Ferrucci or Max Tegmark or any of our uh, advisors, uh, Ron Waldsworth is here uh, from Harvard, it really makes the journey pretty uh, rewarding. So with that, I'll bring up uh, Manish, who will introduce our uh, panelists. Thanks. Thank you.